Here we go. Here you go. It's time to dance, Sephora. We're going to talk to you about the Heel Tribe. We're so excited. Time to dance. I don't know why my computer didn't want to record this morning. <laughs> You're so freaking cute, Sephora. I love you, Lily. You're awesome. Love you more. You know, love is a competition because whoever loves the most wins. That's my quote. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with something better. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is the place you can always turn to when you need a friend. I got my little Shelly. Look at Shelly. Visit her on the web. From the ocean. When you need a friend dot com. Now let's all learn together. Here's Lily and McDermott. Hello, my listening friend. It's so nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who are new to the Lone McDermott Radio Show, the purpose of the show is to provide a safe place where you can go to when you need a friend. It is my commitment to provide alternative ways to heal, and it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life. And I hope you, my listening friend, will feel empowered to live, embrace a new truth, and live the life life of your dreams. I am so excited. You know, everything happens for a reason. If you find yourself in a place right now where you're going, this wasn't supposed to happen. This wasn't meant to be. Think again. Last night at around 1030 at night, I got a, a text from Ashley saying that my guest today um, had to postpone he d double booked himself. We rescheduled him. I'm really excited about getting uh, Fraser uh, Bailey on the show. He was a butcher who became vegan. Imagine that story. Um, and so uh, last night I'm staying with uh, Sephora Osmani. I had a choice to not do a show um, and play a pre-record because, you know, it, it's a busy life and it would be nice to have a day off. And, um, but then instead I looked at Sephora and I said, we're just so excited about tonight because I will, we have so much to share about what happened last night. I said, why don't you go come on the show with me and let's talk about it. Purpose. You know, I could have been upset. I had the show ready because I knew that it was going to be a busy night and so I had the show ready. I could have gone, oh man, I can't believe it. No, no, this is great. And I think if we shift the way we look at life, life becomes less resistive and more just meaningful and purposeful. And let me tell you, last night we had such a fun time at the Heel Tribe and we have new friends, but I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to let Sephora come on the let, I'm going to let you come on the, on the show. I'm going to, so I'm going to introduce you to Sephora for those of you who are driving around and listening to the show. I love it when people say, I just stumbled upon your show. I stumbled upon your show. Hey, bring it. I don't care how you heard about the Lola McDermott radio show. I'm glad that you're listening. Okay. So since it is our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I want to introduce you to my friend, Safura Osmani. She is half of Jack's Vegan Couple. Welcome to the McDermott Radio Show. Good morning. Thank huh. you, Lily, for having me on the show. I am so excited. The <laughs> energy, everything that we felt last night. So happy to be on the air with you today. Well, Thank I am happy that you're all on. You do. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I am happy that you're on the air with me as well. Um, okay. So share a little bit about yourself and what caused you to be half of the Jack's Vegan Couple. Absolutely. So I'm Sephora Osmani and my husband is Abed Osmani and we have um, our social channel called Jack's Vegan Couple. Both of us are vegan. We've been vegan for about 10 years and we moved to Jacksonville from Chicago about two years ago. And uh, we provide, our mission is to provide engagement and um, education and inspiration to everyone on healthy whole food plant-based eating and on our social channels you can find recipes tips and resources to get yourself started on a healthy lifestyle and it's a fabulous i love how colorful um, your website is and how helpful it is to people you also have that 21 day challenge right that you have going to say a little bit about that absolutely so we put together a 21 day meal 
plan and it's all about how do I get started for someone who's just starting out someone who's a vegan or may not be so on that you'll find over 70 recipes for breakfast lunch dinner snacks how do I get started how do I go grocery shopping um, meal prepping um, so on days Lily in our house you'll find us meal prepping for the week from salad cutting chopping how to buy groceries from different stores. So lots of tips, resources bundled up in one book and it's ready for anyone who'd love to download it. Very good. Are you offering that today? Uh, we can. <laughs> yes, let's do it. I shouldn't have put you on the spot. No, no, so for those of you, it. you get two for one today. For those of you who are not subscribed to the Lillian McDermott radio show at whenyouneedafriend.com, you will also, if you text me at 407 Three seven three five nine five nine. That's four zero seven three seven three five nine five nine. You'll get a twenty one, the twenty one day challenge for healthy living. Right? What is it called? It's called the Jack's Vegan Couple Twenty One Day Meal Plan. And in return, we would love for you to join our social channels and share us with all of your family and friends. That's right. So you will get two. So if you're not subscribed to the uh, whenyouneedafriend.com, you will also get subscribed to whenyouneedafriend.com and get the 90-day challenge to self-love because it really is a mind, body, spirit approach. And that's what we are trying to accomplish, what we're, what our vision is for the healthy eating and living tribe. And we're going to share a little bit more about this when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot, Sephora. It's but all this, right. We yes. do it. That's a, you know, that is a, a, the value. You know, you, you get a lot of people that come in and they have a book. And the book might cost twenty dollars. It might cost you know thirty dollars. But still, if I if I was walking down the street and I saw a twenty dollar bill, I'd bend over. If there's nobody around, I'd keep it. You know, so you know the <laughs> the what the cost of the twenty one day um, meal plan is or the Jack's Vegan twenty one day meal plan is invaluable because how do you put a price on health? How do you put a price on health? Absolutely, you just can't do that. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's just putting it all together in a package for someone who's just starting out and they need some help. So it's all outlined really nicely for them. Yes, yes. And uh, so, okay, this is going to be a fun show because we're going to talk about what happened last night so far. Are you ready? More dancing. I am. My sister from another mister. Look at that. Yeah. I got My mom's got some splaining to do. She does. Welcome back to the Lil McDermott Radio Show where we always learn and grow with one another. Last night was a huge highlight. We had wonderful people. 40, I think it was over 40 people, not counting the children. Not counting That's the children, right. we had over 40 people, and it was so hopeful. Every single one of us was there for a reason. So, um, Sephora, share a little bit about the healthy eating and living tribe that we've created in Jacksonville. Thank you, Lily. So, um, we created the healthy eating and living tribe because... We were at a vegan cruise recently, and Dr. T. Colin Campbell Nelson and his team approached us and said, what, how is vegan, what are you doing in Jacksonville? We would love for you to be part of this plant pure community. And we met with them and um, had discussions. We came back. It was a very exciting cruise. We met with Lily and we said, hey, Lily, this is what we're thinking of doing in partnership with Plant Pure. We'd love to open up a pod, our own tripod here in Jacksonville. But do you remember we were driving and I said, you know, I'd love to start a group. Our first time, remember, we, it was our first time talking and you went, oh my gosh, this is what we were told. You hadn't even mentioned it to me at the time. And the two of us, you, were, you had that vision, I had that vision, and the two of us came together. Isn't it amazing how when people uh, uh, are visualizing things, how we attract each other? 
Absolutely. And I think your passion and excitement just fueled it, Lily. Your, and then um, the moment when we were sitting and trying to come up with a name, your acronym and how we came up with healthy eating and living. And Lily said, it has to be a tribe. We are a tribe. And we'll but you were thinking tribe too, or who was it? Was it a Ubed that was Ubed thinking tribe? Ubed was thinking tribe as well. So yes. both of you were on the same page. Yes. It, it's, so, it's funny how we're all, everything is working together. And for the 40 people that joined us last night, it was so magical. Talk, let's talk first about the food that we experienced last night um, at the event. Share a little bit about the food. Absolutely. Kaboom so we, kebabs. Kaboom kebabs, yes. Um, so when Lily and I st first started planning this event, <clears throat> we were thinking about, well, what should we do? and what kind of food should we um, have our people taste. So I, I'm really good friends with Abraham at Kaboom Kebabs. I reached out to him and I said, hey, Abraham, we are looking to do this healthy eating group kickoff meeting. Do you want to be a part of our tribe? And he jumped right on. We talked about the menu from um, he had hummus, baba ganoush, lentil soup, and an awesome dish where the only way you'll see what that was, it's called makluba, is oh my to gosh. follow Lily and I on Instagram. I'm in and that's to see our videos about that. Uh, but and not I'm only at, that, go mm -hmm. ahead, Lily. No, no, no. I was going to say, and I'm at Lillian McDermott and, um, on yes. Instagram. Yeah. Yes, Lillian McDermott. And Jack's Vegan uh, Couple. That's right. That's right. So if you follow us, you'll see all our stories from last night. But we spoke with Abraham about no oil, gluten-free, whole food ingredients in his cooking. And can you believe it? He made those falafel and he baked them, Lily. Didn't they taste amazing? I've, I've tasted falafels before and I love falafels. But what I don't like about falafels is that it's fried. And so what when I tried his... I went, I, I stopped what I was doing because that was going to be, first, the lentil soup was incredible. And that was one of my favorites. I could have just eaten that. But what she mentioned first, the, the, the soup, the falafel, the fava beans, the hummus, Makluba. the baba ganoush, the, well, the baklu was the, the main meal. Everybody thought that the, the, the appetizers yes. were the meal. And by the time he brought the, the rice and he tipped it over and it, I mean, it was like, we're a fool, <laughs> but we've still kept eating. And the question was to everybody, do you miss the meat? And everybody said, no, nobody missed the meat. Isn't that amazing? That was really amazing. And I think we had so many people there, um, Lily, that were not vegan yet, and they wanted to come out to our tribe and experience this. And if we can go back for a minute about the food, it yeah. was so filling, um, fresh ingredients and spices. And that's what we were talking about was that then you wouldn't miss the meat. That's right. Absolutely. So today, uh, for those of you who are listening, share it with your friends. We need to build this community. There's something missing from our group last night. I'm going to be very, very honest. There was something missing. And that was you. You were missing from the group. You. And so we want to invite you to join our tribe. And today, if you call 407 373 Five nine five nine. You will get two gifts when you when you text us. You text us your email address and your name, and we will put you on our websites. So it'll be on the Lily McDermott Radio Show website, which is when you need a friend dot com, <clears throat> and then Jack's Vegan Couple website. And you will get for for me, you will get the ninety day challenge to self love ebook, mm -hmm. and with Sephora, it's the twenty one day meal plan, plan, which is great. So <clears throat> I was, it was a surreal experience for me last night. We gathered last night at 530 and people start coming in and everybody was, they were just like looking forward to eating. Not everybody was <laughs> vegan, right? right? Right. So it doesn't matter if you're not vegan. We just want you to respect the fact that this is, you're going to have a meal without meat. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So right. what do you think, Sephora? What, what would you say to people that just can't release that idea? I have to have meat or an animal product in every meal. What, what would you say to that mentality? 
because I you, yeah. Yes, I would tell them that explore different cuisines and try it. You know, it's not going to hurt. Um, just taste the flavors. And what we were hearing last night, Lily, I just want to share some of mm -hmm. the uh, things people were saying. This is amazing. The hummus is delicious. I didn't know that not eating meat could be so flavorful, filling, and absolutely delicious. So um, Yeah, and you know what? I want to add to that too. Cooking without oil, that's a huge um, myth that you have to cook with oil. And when I overcame that myth was when I started uh, having uh, Dr. Joel Furman. So that was two years ago. So I've cooked without, uh -huh. um, without oil for a long time. And uh, before that, I thought, this is, you know, oil adds flavor. No, oil adds fat. And if you can substitute it. So, so last night was um, in Jacksonville the healthy eating and living. And I just want to remind you, for those of you who are listening in, in um, Space Coast and Brevard County from Daytona all the way to West Palm uh, later on, I, I want you to know that we are doing a, a Brevard County, so it'll be a Space Coast Healthy Eating and Living Tribe. That event is going to be April 20. Third, I believe that's April 23rd. I'll make sure that I have the right date and uh, time. And so for, for those of you who are listening today, not only will there be, is there a tribe waiting for you in Jacksonville, there is a tribe waiting for you uh, in Brevard County as well. So the, the event last night is, was just our kickoff. Share more, um, Sephora, about what we are going to be doing in the future. Absolutely. So stay tuned, guys. And the only way you'll know is if you join our private group. So search <laughs> for Jack's Healthy Eating and Living Tribe on Facebook and join the group to stay in the know. We are having our next event on May 23rd mm -hmm. at the Salem Center again. It may change, but we'll keep you posted. And many, many exciting things are going to be happening. We'll be bringing different doctors in. We had Dr. Will Niels yesterday with yes, us, and yes. he's looking forward to speaking with the group on different topics. We opened it up where we spoke. Um, we asked the people that were there, what would you like to see in future meetings? We may have cooking demos. We may have um, people talk about healing and how to heal with oils. Um, you know, we're going to use the expertise of our members to figure out what our agenda is going yes. to be. Yes. There's nothing to sell in our group. It's all, there's, you know, we all want to love and be loved. We all want to feel a sense of community. And as we went around the room of what we needed from the group, that companionship, that fellowship, having a place to go to where you don't feel the stress that if you don't have meat on your plate, that you will have that, well, why aren't you having meat? Where are you going to get your protein? <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Where do we get our protein? So for it, share with our listening friends and our viewers, where do you get protein when you eat a vegan lifestyle? We get our protein from broccoli. We get it from kale. We get yes. it from spinach. We yes. get it from our yes. seed and our hemp seeds and all of our fruits and vegetables. Avocados. There's we are so blessed. much. Yes. <laughs> there's there's so much that we don't know. So we don't know what we don't know. And, and I'm very happy to say that's what we talk about on the show. It is amazing to see the faces of people the, for the first time, they have food without oil, and they go, wow, this tastes just as good. And we had children there, um, younger, and I know that they're listening right now uh, uh, while they're driving. And I'm just telling you right now, though the kids that were there are going to, they're setting themselves up for a, a healthier life than what our children or, you know, people that are going through and living a fast food life, a disposable fast food kind of life. And then they wonder why they're depressed, why they're anxious. And so last night we talked about a mind, body, spirit approach to healing. That's why the Heal Tribe is healthy eating and living. It's not just about food. It's about a mind, body, spirit. And when people come in, so this is what we're going to do. When, are, when is our next event in May? 
May 23rd. May 23rd. And so please mark your calendars. We're going to, uh, uh, the plan is to have it at the Salem Center, but we'll keep you updated if there's anything that changes. And so th- at this right. time, we're going to do a potluck meal, or maybe we'll just ask if, if Abraham can come again and do it again, <laughs> because that was pretty good. I don't know. What do you think, yeah, Sephora? Awesome. Um, you know, we can entice Abraham. We loved his food. We would love for him to come back. We'd love for him to cater it again because he really went out of his way. Can you imagine your first meal, your first vegan meal, your first meal that doesn't have any oil, your first meal, and this was cultural for him. He was taught this from childhood and he made it for over 40 people. Can you imagine the stress Abraham, Abe was, must have been feeling? I could feel it. It was like he was waiting for people to go, blah, blah, blah. and we went, oh my gosh, this is so good. For those of you who were with us last night, text me. Let me know what you thought about the food, and I'll share it with everybody that's listening today. But don't text and drive, so make sure you pull over to the side or have a designated texter because we are always careful for everything that happens in life. And so we're going to continue talking about the event, how you can join the tribe, the free gifts. If you call for text or call 407-373-5959, give me your name and your email address, and we will subscribe you to both our, our, our channels and uh, Jack's Vegan Couple and whenyouneedafriend.com, and you'll get the 90-day challenge to self-love ebook through me and the 21-day meal plan with Sephora and the Jack's Vegan Club. And we're going to continue our conversation when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. So much to talk about, Sephora. Absolutely, Lily. It's just so exciting. What an amazing evening. I could not sleep all night yeah. thinking about um, just looking at the pictures, replaying the stories that, you know, people shared with us. And then the babies that were there. How cute. How That's cute was that? So adorable. Yeah. I am going to run upstairs. Okay. I'm going to run upstairs and I'm going to get the list of the people that were there. I'm not going to share anything, uh, but I would love for you to mm-hmm. share a quick uh, tip to everybody. And then when I come back, I want to hear what you have to say. Okay. I'll be okay. right back. Okay. Go. So okay. tell, tell a, 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 some tips about meal, meal prepping. Okay. Absolutely. So meal prepping starts with in the kitchen, doing it on a Sunday afternoon, go out to the farmer's market, pick the freshest produce, and then come back, chop all of your salad, put it in containers. What we love to do, a great tip is to put paper towel on the bottom of your container, add your salad to that, put it in containers that's ready to go for the week, for lunch, and for the rest of the week. But also along with the salad, we um, cook a pot of grains, one pot of soup, a pot of lentils, everything very quickly in under 30 minutes. And then we mix and match and do a variation throughout the week on the different recipes by adding the lentils and the brown rice or um, you know whatever we've selected for our grains by putting it together. Keep going, keep going. I just wanted to come up here. <laughs> and that really helps in meal prepping because then when you don't have something to eat you come home at the end of the day and you're not sure what to eat but if you had something already prepared it's ready and waiting for you whether it was your um, soup bowl or a salad or um, you know some grains that you had made it's ready and you can eat that so very healthy filling but please make sure to um, start meal prepping and uh, we have lots of tips and recipes and ideas for you on how to meal prep on our website under the getting started section for jacksvegancouple.com very good so i i um Full disclosure, it's in the car. (laughs) The list I went upstairs, came back down. But you know what? I think the feeling was just so palpable. Everybody was so grateful and so happy to be long to a tribe. And that is what we want to accomplish. So if you want to be a part of our tribe and you don't live in the Jacksonville area or you don't live in the Brevard County area, then, and you know what? Sephora, maybe we should combine the two. 
instead of saying jacks, I wonder if we could have a, a, a bigger tribe. Do you think that could be done? Absolutely. So I can maybe unite that way we so don't have we two separate. Healthy eating and living tribe? Yeah, maybe. And then we'll let's, include the people. Let's remove the word jacks. Maybe. It'll just be healthy healing living. tribe. Because yeah. we're all one. We're yes. all in this together. We you know? are. And we have to be. It's all in partnership with everyone, yeah, right? We get to be. We get well, to be. We, you know what? Uh, okay, so I have messages from Catherine. Uh, we have messages from Kim. And so I'll read it when we come back from the break. Uh, okay. How much time do we have, Brian? Fifty seconds. Fifty seconds. Oh, and tell 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 Ubed. Ubed came here to take a video, but when he opened the door, I could hear you, and it was like feedback. And I was like, I was like, close the door, and I think he thought I was telling him to leave. <laughs> so please tell him that I was not telling him to leave. Okay. I went out there to see him and give him a hug because I went. I was like, I was like. <laughs> See, this is the stuff that happens off the air that you That's get right. to. <laughs> Look at that. A silly girls. Okay. So um, when I come back, I'll talk about the social media and I'll remind people to call again. And, um, okay. and you're doing great. So what were the, what were the tips you talked about the, the Sunday? I talked batch about day? Sunday meal prepping, batching, batch cooking how to um, cut, chop your salad, how to make grains, how to... Okay, here you go. <laughs> I love it when people come on, do this, do this, and they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Little McDermott Radio Show, where we are heard worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. I am your host, Lillian McDermott, and it's such a, what an honor. It is such an honor to just be able to feel all of you and, and to be a part of your life, to allow me the privilege to be in your drive to work, to allow me the privilege to be in your ear for an hour every day. Um, because I'm not just uh, eight o'clock Monday through Friday. I'm eight o'clock, twelve o'clock, five o'clock, and then on Saturdays I'm on at eleven o'clock. So Monday through Saturday we have a show for you that we're waiting for you, and that's been the theme of my life. I'm waiting for you. Last night we got together with the Healed Tribe, the Healed Tribe, healthy eating and living. Are you ready? Are you ready to release depression, anxiety? Are you ready to release diabetes? Are you really ready to reverse heart disease? Are you ready to take your health back? That's what the healthy eating and living tribe is about. It's not just about food. It's about mind, body, spirit connection. There's so much we don't know we don't know. And so I ask you not only to be subscribed to whenyouneedafriend.com, but also share with your friends. Let them know about the radio show. Let them know about the YouTube. Let them know about the podcast. Let them know about the different ways that you can heal. And we can start this journey together. The woman that speaks to you today is not the woman that was speaking to you seven years ago when this race, this journey started for me. And I want to take you along in this journey, not because I want to force you to believe what I believe. I want you to be curious. Let's be curious students of life. Let's be curious enough to say, hmm, I'll consider it. That doesn't mean I have to buy it. That doesn't mean I have to sell it. That doesn't mean I have to do it. I'll consider it. But when you consider something, you open the door. Maybe put your toe in. Then open the door a little bit more. Bring the shoulder in. Sneak into the door <laughs> and get to the other side of the door. And what you will experience, when I was challenged on the show to go raw vegan for one month, I said, bring it. I didn't think food did anything. I felt great. Did you know after three or four days of that, accepting that challenge, even though I was scared to death, that I didn't know what to eat. My, I, I mean, I'm Spanish for Pete's sake. I eat arroz con gandules. And I eat, you know, I eat this, all these wonderful foods that I grew up with. 
it was like abandoning my faith. It was like abandon. It was very a, a, a fearful thing, but I did it because I thought, well, I can do it for one month. But what I realized at that moment was that I could feel better. What if you could feel better? Join our tribe, healthy eating and living. And during the break, and I'm so grateful to Sephora. Oh, and by the way, 407-373-5959. I want you to text your, e- your name and your email. Sephora and I, we will um, subscribe you to our site. And it's when you need a friend for me. And you will get a confirmation email. So when you, com- when you get an email from me, you need to confirm. And then you'll get access to my 90-day challenge to self-love ebook. Because that is such a missing factor. We love everybody. We love everybody. I want you to think of the top five people that are the most important to you. Think about those five people. You could even say your children as one group. You could even say your husband or your spouse, another group. Not another group, another <laughs> one. <laughs> yes, I have my group of men. Uh, <laughs> and so you, can, you, you have your group of friends or whatever. So come up with your top five. Were you in that list? Were you in that list? And I do this for a living and I'm a coach. And I remember the first time I heard this, because this is not mine. And a lot of the things that come out and like when I, when I say things, I'll, I'll credit who I heard it with and who I heard it from. I remember hearing, you know, medical detective from Dr. Richard Horowitz. And I'm like, yes, that's what we are. We need to be our own MD, our own medical detective. You will hear things here on the show that you can take with you forever and ever. But the most important aspect is that connection to self, how important you are. You have got to put yourself, you get to put yourself number one on your list. Always, always remember, start with yourself. And then you can continue to add people. It's not just giving, it's also receiving. And that's all the stuff we're going to be talking about in the Heal Tribe, healthy eating and living. So the second gift that you will get is we will register you on the Jack's Vegan Couple website and you will get their 21-day meal plan. And let me tell you, I was talking about this during the break, that books cost 20 to $30. And so sometimes when you listen to the show, you get this, this $20 to $30 gift. But no, no, you're getting health is invaluable. There's no price for that. So, Sephora, I'm so grateful to you for, for being available this morning to, to do the show with me. Share a little bit about um, your journey and were you scared when Ubed came home and said, guess what, honey, <laughs> no more killing animals. <laughs> yes. So our journey started back 10 years ago. Ubed went on this health vegan journey because his parents became ill due to illness, heart, um, diabetes, stroke. He did the research, came home and said, we're all reading eat to live. And, um, so it started. He said, we're going to become vegan, and this is our lifestyle. It was very difficult for me, Lily. I'll be very honest. And I said, but wait a minute. In the Indian culture, we fry foods, we eat foods, we want our samosas and our biryanis, right? Mm-hmm. But um, I gave up meat. I said, I can do this. I can take on this challenge. Let me start by giving up meat first. And you know, I didn't miss it. So I went on and I gave up dairy, then gave up processed foods, cleaned out the pantry. We have two boys. They came on board with us, talk about our heal, our tribe. Mm-hmm. And um, little by little, we got there. I um, took the course, Forks Over Knives cooking class to learn about the tips you were talking about, Lily. Mm -hmm. How do you cook without oil? How do you braise? How do you bake? How do you incorporate more vegetables into your recipes and herbs? So um, it took a few years and we are here finally where today I feel amazing. I couldn't even look back. Last night, I was so energized to see the people who came and said, wow, eating vegan is good. I mean, this food tastes great. When my family comes over, that's all we serve them, Lily, is what Mm -hmm. we have. Salads, Mm -hmm. soups, 
awesome, amazing dishes. And I feel more energized than ever eating this way. Yes. And be able to share this good news. So I got a text from Catherine. Catherine, thank you so much for texting. It says the food was delicious and filling. It seemed to be simply prepared. So it wasn't elaborate. You don't have to do, you know, all this pomp and circumstance. It, it is very simple. And then Kim, thank you so much for, for texting this morning. I said, the food was amazing. I'm so glad that I was the first, this was her first vegan meal. <laughs> now I have no worries. No, like, uh, of not liking vegan Mediterranean food was delicious. That came from Kaboom Kebab. And he did that from the kindness of his heart. We, um, and we, we are so grateful to him. And he has a food truck. Say a little bit about Kaboom Kebab. Absolutely. So I met Abraham about a year ago on social media and we connected right away. What he does is he has a food truck and he is all over Jacksonville. So if you see his big red truck and it says Kaboom Kebabs on it, um, he's out at business centers, downtown location. He'll cater your private event for you. And when we reached out, we said, hey, Abraham, but we're vegan and we don't eat meat. He said, not to worry. I made this delicious salad. I can make fava beans. I can make hummus. So he completely adapted to our needs. And even last night, Lily, how amazing was that meal where um, Abraham and I talked through, you know, what he was going to prepare for yesterday. And he was very excited that he was able to do it without oil and picking all the fresh ingredients for us. Uh, that's true. And so during the break, Sephora and I decided that we're not going to do Jack's vegan or the Jack's um, heel tribe and the, I'm sorry, the, the heel tribe, the, yeah. And so we decided we're, instead of doing Jack's heel tribe or the healthy eating and living or uh, uh, space coast, we're just going to do the heel tribe. We're going to do this together. So the space coast and the first coast are becoming one and we're going to do one. So that's going to be good. The next thing I want you to know is that there was one thing missing last night, only one thing because it was perfect outside of that. And it was you. If you want to join our tribe, if you want to join our tribe, it is um, you just you need to call 407-373-5959. We will register you and we will make sure that you will get information. Our next meeting uh, for Jacksonville is May 23rd in the Space Coast. It's April 25th. That will be our kickoff. So if you're listening from the Space Coast, we want you to come join us as well. And we're going to continue our conversation with Safura Asmari, Jack's vegan couple, when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. Here we go. This is our last dance. You can text Lillian McDermott or leave her a voicemail at 407-373-5959. Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Little McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow with one another. We are so excited that we have united. We are taking the Space Coast and the First Coast. And instead of being one or the other, we are both. We're going to unite. It's the Healthy Eating and Living Tribe, the Heal Tribe, that we are going to come back as one. We're going to focus on a mind-body-spirit approach to, to living. The, the lifestyle for nutrition that we will embrace is a vegan whole food, plant-based, vegan, not the potato chips and Coke. We're going to be doing whole food, plant-based, no oils, no sugars, and we are going to embrace that as part of the Heal Tribe. Whatever you want to eat after that, it's up to you. And it's going to be no judgment. It is a no judgment zone where you are loved and embraced for where, wherever you're at. So if you are a full core, hardcore, I got to have 65 ounces of uh, uh, Kobe beef every day, then you're still welcome into the tribe. Little by little, let's learn a new truth. Let's take our health back. Let's reverse disease. Let's prevent disease. Let's give our children a healthier opportunity than what 
we are seeing everything is rising, everything, disease is rising. And we're so, we have so much technology. With so much technology, why, aren't, are, why isn't our health perfect? And it's because we are consuming things. We're not giving ourselves time to rest. And I'm, I'm guilty of that too. We were up till like 1.30 in the morning. So uh, we're so excited and we wanted to share this information with you. So here's the deal. If you text me at 407-373-5959, you will get two gifts today. You will be gifted into whenyouneedafriend.com. We will register you at whenyouneedafriend.com and that you will get the 90-day challenge to self-love. And if you, um, and then we'll also register you into Jack's Vegan Couple uh, website, and that you will get the 21 day meal plan. That's 407 373 5959. For those of you who um, have not done the kickoff in Space Coast, that is April 25th. We're going to be meeting at Bonefish Grill in Merritt Island. They're going to make us another vegan, oil free meal that I hear was delicious. So April 25th at 5.30, we're, five, I think it was five o'clock or 5.30, we're gonna be meeting there and we're gonna share a meal. We're gonna do our kickoff meeting that like similar to what we did last night. And our first meeting uh, after our kickoff in Jacksonville, the first coast is May 23rd. And it's at the same place, Salem Center. We were going to do originally a potluck, but I don't know if we're ready for the potluck yet. I think the maybe we'll have uh, Abe come back and spoil us again, and uh, we'll have him cater at this time and just tell us how much it would cost per head. What is it? What do you think about that, Sophora? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Yeah, I can't wait. So looking forward to getting this group going and getting our tribe started with our next meeting on May 23rd. The invite is already on our uh, group page. So make sure um, you go to the group page, you register, sign and up. Where's the group page, Sephora? The group page, if they search for healthy eating and living tribe. When they go to their Facebook page in the search field, they should type healthy eating and living. Because it's a private group, they are they need a request to join. And Lillian and I are admins, so we will kind of monitor that and accept your uh, and, and And here's the thing. If you text me at 407-373-5959, or if you um, call me and uh, let me know what your email address is. We can register them on the Facebook page, right? If we have and their. I, yes, when we have their email address, we can definitely. Yes. Okay. So I'm having um, having a technical. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me still. Yes, I hope you can hear me. Okay. So um, one of the things that I want to encourage you is to know that you're a part of this group. It's not Lily's group or Sephora's group, the Lily McDermott radio show group or the Jack's vegan couple group. This is our group. It's the heel tribe. And what we want to do is we want to hear from you. What do you need from the group and what can you bring to the group? It's not just about taking, it's about giving and creating that balance between the two. But either way, I want to encourage you to know, or, or I want to remind you that the date is in Brevard County for our kickoff in Brevard is April 25th. I know that there's so many dates that are floating around. So April 25th is in the Space Coast. That is Bonefish Grill. That's our kickoff in Brevard County. But we're one, it's going to be one website. It's one, one uh, Facebook one page, right? One group. Yes. 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 It'll be a lot easier to do. And that way we can all share with one another. That's right. Yes. And did you want to add anything, uh, Sephora? I just wanted to say um, doing good is good for your health. And especially what Lily was saying is that it's not about just taking, it's about giving also. And we want to hear your stories. We want you to participate. Participate. This is our group together. So it's not just Lily and I who are doing the postings on our um, tribe Facebook group, but we also want you to participate as well. 
Absolutely. So I want to share with you, for those of you who are driving now and you're going, you know, that's good for you. You guys got good DNA. One of the things that we've learned from the teachers on my show and on the Lillian McDermott radio show is that we are not victims of our DNA. Although our DNA is a part of what we receive from our family, we know what 3% of our DNA contributes to disease, only 3%. The what you really truly inherit from your family is your traumas, you inherit the food you eat, you inherit the way you stress, the way you perceive things. So when you are eating a healthy diet, when you clean up your diet, then you will see that you can turn off your DNA. You can turn on your DNA. Let's say you have a, a, a family history of diabetes. Look on your plate. Look at the family recipes. Look at what everybody's eating. Everybody's eating the same thing. That's why people thought it was hereditary. But it's not. You're not a victim. Because if you were a victim of your DNA, then it wouldn't matter what you did, right? You're just going to get the diseases. But that's not real. That's what the pharmaceutical industry, the food industry, all these industries would want you to think. But the reality is, and this is the new truth, this is where you get to consider a new truth. It's not about your DNA. It's what you're eating. It's what you're thinking. It's how you're acting. Because first it's the thought, then it's the feeling, then it's the action. So let's nip it at the thought Part of being the heel tribe is we're going to learn positive affirmation. Ubed can teach us how to meditate, right? We're going to do a show. That's right. We're going to have him come and teach us about meditation. And the Jack's Vegan couple will teach us how to cook and prepare foods as a certified life coach. We're going to do the mind, body, spirit approach to healing and learn different truths uh, together. So again, so for a share where we can, uh, well, first, if you text me or call me your name and your email address, we'll register you into the group. You're, you're in and you'll get two gifts, the 90 day challenge to self-love and you'll also get the 21 day meal plan. So where is it that if they don't want to send me this information, if they want to register themselves on Facebook? Yes, absolutely. On Facebook, go into the search field and type healthy eating and living tribe. The group will come up, request to join the group, and Lillian and I will accept your um, request and you're in. But also, not only that, follow Lillian um, on her um, when you need a friend.com, Instagram, social channels, Facebook, and Jack's Vegan Couple, Instagram, Facebook, and other social channels as well to stay up. To Yes, and, 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 and I tell you, go to Jack's Vegan Couple and follow them as well and register with them. But if one clean, clean, clean swoop, 407-373-5959, you'll get both of us. And so, Sephora, I'm so grateful that we were able to share our, what happened last night with our listening and our viewing friends. And I'm so grateful to you and to our friendship. Thank you so much, Lillian. And to you, my listening friend, you've learned a new truth on this show. Now it's time. Now what? Now what? Now what? Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time. It's time to take your health back. This is Lillian McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best day ever. ever. Awesome. Yeah, Robert was telling us that we were having some technical difficulties. We we're having some technical technical difficulties, and I don't know technical what. difficulties. Yeah, and uh, but he said it was never long periods of time. But for those of you who got to listen and watch on YouTube, I want to invite you to be a part. Even if you don't live in the first coast or the space coast, everybody can join because even if you can't physically be with us, you can be with us in spirit. You can be with us in thought. You can be with us through our experience, you can learn from us mm -hmm. and we can learn from you. Absolutely. It's not just, the, the, it's not us being the teachers. It's all of us being students as well. So is there anything you'd like to add before we go, Sephora? No, I'm just looking forward to the group coming together as one healthy eating and living group. Very excited. We'll make those changes today and I'm looking forward to working with our tribe 
and um, our next meeting on May 23rd here That's in right. uh, the Salem Center. Yes, and the Salem Center, I don't have the address uh, in front of me. 7235 Bonneville Road, Jacksonville, Florida. And <laughs> are we gonna do, we're going to do um, f at uh, 5.30 again. Yes. Yes. And share a meal. We're going to see if we can reach out to Kaboom Kebabs. Unbelievable. Wasn't that amazing? I, I, I think what I loved most, it wasn't just the food. It was the fellowship. It was the, yes. the, the adventure of creating something new together. This is something new. And if you want to join us, you're, you're welcome to text me at 407 373-5959. Just text us your email address and we'll register you uh, not only on whenyouneedafriend.com, Jack's Vegan Couple, but we'll also put you on the Heal Tribe. Where else? Can, it's, that, it's that easy. Win, 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 win. <laughs> win, 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 win. Okay. Thank you so much, my dear. And I look forward to, to, to doing more shows with you. And to you, my listening friends, I am just so grateful to you. I look forward to our next conversation.